Today we will be reviewing if your cards are worth it or not. What's up guys, we're back with another Worth It or Not video where I review your Reddit posts and let you know if your cards are worth it or not to send to get graded. And there will be some more collection flexes, etc. We're just going to go through the Reddit because it has been a while. A lot of people have been asking, where's Worth It or Not? Are you going to bring it back? Don't worry, we are still doing them. I will do it today. All right, let's start this thing off with a collection flex. So happy right now. An ultra rare GBI God card PSA 10. That's an Obelisk the Tormentor. One of the best guide cards out there, in my opinion. I think it might be my favorite. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite? Worth it or not, is 1.2K a good deal? This is a DDS Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, oh, and this. All right, let's check out the DDS Blue Eyes value. We will need to check out the value. This picture gives us absolutely no information on the condition of the card. This card could be heavily played for all we know. It's going to be tough to tell for sure if it was worth it or not, but right now it's looking pretty good if this card is light played or near mint or something like that. I know this card is actually fairly valuable, even though it is a replica. I don't know a lot about it, though, but it is still a pretty nice card. All right, so there is a DDS Blue Eyes. This is a 7.5. I'm not seeing any raw copies, really, but we have a 7.5, which is like near mint. $2,300. We're going to check TCG Player, see if they have anything listed. All right, if we get on TCG Player here, we can see we're on the, the DDS Blue Eyes. And if we go to the sales history, we have damage for $550. Even if it was damage, one sold for $550. So that's pretty good for what you paid. Someone paid $3,600. That is a lot. Near Mint, this looks like uh, that was a mislisting or something like that. 30, let's see if it was like, oh, Korean. Okay. That's not a DDS Blue Eyes TCG lister, but okay. We have a $780 Near Mint. Well, that seems really low too. Yeah, that seems really low. 30s, those are, I mean, are these all like Korean and stuff? Okay, that makes sense. I don't know. It's hard to tell from these sales because there's no pictures what, what the deal with them was okay so hard, you don't get a lot of info from that because everything's random but we do have the listings here we have the 550 dollars we got 1200 dollars for light play 1500 dollars let's see for near mint what do we have two hundred thousand dollars if you want to get a bgs 10 pristine you can buy from limitless games okay maybe not here we have one from this uh, this looks like sassiato one thousand one hundred dollars unless there was a best offer accepted it was not even sealed so i think that your deal look is looking pretty good yeah this was from sassiato the legend so go check check him out because he sells a lot of good stuff. All right, let's check. There is a website you can check to make sure and see that these actually sold. So if you see an eBay listing and you're not sure if it's sold, you can go to 130point.com slash sales, paste in, I think usually the title will work. It tells you what the actual price was, the best offer, stuff like that. Okay, it looks like he did sell it for the amount that he had posted. It says best offer price, which is a little bit odd. $249 for this one. I mean, so it could have been in worse condition. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Maybe I'll, I could even ask him what he sold it for to figure out if this is still working. But this, this has been working for me for the actual best offer. Seems like it's sold. I don't know if if it did or not though because this one let's see if we can okay this one's a little damaged so from what i could tell for the most part you can't get exact prices on the stuff seems like it was a great deal it's hard to tell the conditions on either of these though can't really know even if they are sealed sometimes they can be damaged because you know that's not really going to stop any damage from happening other than maybe some scratches but overall seems pretty good we have another collection flex some of my sealed collection there are a few boxes here and by a few, I mean a lot. So let's see if we can see them better. Lost Millennium, Cyberdark Impact, Dark Revelation, Dark Dark Beginning 2, Strike of Neos, Power of the Duels, Tactical Evolution, Cybernetic Revolution, Cybernetic Revolution, Shadow Infinity, Enemy of Justice. We've got Magic Ruler, Spell Ruler, Metal Raiders, Blue Eyes White Dragon. We've got Magician's Force. I mean, it looks like almost everything. Dark Christ, Evasion and Chaos, more Magician's Force, Legacy of Darkness. Ah, this is quite the flex. Collection Flex, I'm a little proud of this. Was 8 in 2004 and opened tons of Cybernetic Revolution, Force of the Breakout, and others from GX Era. Yeah, this is pretty epic. Lots of special edition stuff. We got some Magician's Force, First Edition, Tactical Evolution, Chaz, kind of random. Very cool stuff. This is a nice collection. Worth it or not, is this worth sending in? Can't see a single flaw. All right, from what? This is a German copy, so that's interesting. Let's see if we can tell from the pictures. Okay, there is a big square there. That would maybe take off from the grade. You just never know if that would. It probably would because it looks like it's got an indent on it. It looks pretty nice in terms of the surface. Uh, it's pretty off center. Okay, there's that is definitely a flaw. Like that's that's some scratching. Yeah, this is looking like with that centering, we're looking at like a seven. So if you want to send it for a seven, Italian probably not going to be super valuable. Not worth it in my opinion. But if you just want to send it, in, of course you always can. Worth it or not, three hundred seventy-five. I always forget. Is this is this euro or pounds? I think this is euro, right? What do you guys think? I think it's a great steal. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All cards besides light and darkness dragon or near mint. Yeah, this looks like it was a pretty good deal. We've got the horse black frame dragon. It is, of course, a different language that yours to be German, I think, is DE. Then we've got the, is this DE? Okay, these are all German. We've got the Judgment Dragon from Turbo Pack 1. We've got the Blue Eyes White, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, excuse me. If all these are near mint, even if they're foreign, I think they still hold a lot of value for those cards. And then, of course, the Retro Pack 2. Yeah, I'd say it's worth it. I'm not even going to look at the prices because I'm pretty sure this was a, I would pay this much. So that's pretty good. 
I'd wait to grade this till prices go back down. What do y'all think this is a grade? Eight or better? Foil on these is always pretty bad. So it appears like there are a lot of scratches on it and just scuffing in general straight out of the pack, which is always frustrating. We can't see the back though. And that's very important. Like the back could be completely destroyed. So we need to be able to see that to actually give you an accurate grade. The centering, I can't really see the centering too well in this video either. Unfortunately, the video is, I like the lighting on it. I mean, that's good for the surface, but we also need to see centering. You need to see the back, all that stuff. We can't really know for sure, but just FYI for everyone sending in videos, keep that in mind. Worth it or not, grading this card, what would it probably get? All right, we have a, it appears to be first edition. I can't really tell because it's so shiny. There we go. Misprint Rainbow Dragon. So the surface is looking fairly strong on here. Oh, corner does have that little ding, which is definitely going to hurt it a little bit. Oh, wow, that's unfortunate because the rest of the card looks good. There's a big print line back there. That's probably going to cost it a little bit. Some scratching, not terrible, but a little bit of scratching. Probably with that corner and the scratching, like seven, like maybe an eight on a good day, but I would say around a seven. Probably not worth it to send right now. This is probably just better as like a raw card because it's an error. It's really cool. If you want to slab it up, then go ahead, but I don't, I probably would not grade this. Worth it or not, open a first edition box of Secrets of Eternity and pull the Ghost Rare first head. Doesn't have any scratches on the Ghost Foiling, but a scratch on the back of the card. Love to grade once the prices are cheaper. Yeah, I think that this is one that you grade once the prices are cheaper because it's not a very expensive card in general. It's a very cool card. Wow, that is a huge scratch. Right out of the pack? Wow, that's crazy. So yeah, that's going to knock it down pretty far, like 8, 7 range just from that. Still really cool one. I, this was the first Ghost Rare I ever pulled, so I, I have a connection to it. I really like it. Also, Ritual Ghosts look really cool. Worth it or not, open an EN Insect Queen to find these beauties to open or not. Wait, what? Did you open it or not? Wait, you opened them all? We already opened the tin? Why'd you open the tin? Also, EN, I think you mean E because this is a European. E and EN are, are different. A lot of people are confused by that. They think EN means European. E actually means European for the old stuff. So back when LOB was... LOB-E meant European. LOB-EN was still English in a different year. These are actually LOB-E. I would not have, have opened the 10 to start with. I think you destroyed a lot of the value doing that, which, I mean, now that you're committed, I think you go ahead and open the packs because these aren't crazy valuable packs, but since you've already opened the 10, you might as well go for it and open the pack. There are first, oh, I didn't notice this. First edition. Okay, this, okay, this changes everything. First edition Invasion of Chaos doesn't have an E designation. So all the cards are the same, which is really cool. How in the world are these in here? Why are there Metal Raiders and LOB? Is that is that a European 10 thing? This is weird. I did not know this. So we have Metal Raiders. Like, how many packs are in here? Three? For the first edition pack, personally, I would probably open it just for the fun of it. You're going to lose value on it because this is a pretty expensive pack. First edition, Invasion of Chaos. This one, you do not open because the Spell Ruler first edition packs are super valuable sealed. They're worth nothing open because they're just like the Magic Ruler first edition European packs. They get the exact same cards. The cards are completely the same. So do not open that one. For the others, these unlimiteds, just go ahead and open them. They're not too valuable anyway. You will save more if you don't open them, but I would open those. Collection Flex. I opened the most insanely lucky display box of Storm of Ragnarok Special Edition, let alone getting an Ultra and Ulti Odin. Go ahead and pull two ghosts. Is this even fair? The answer is no. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This guy actually messaged me, so I remember seeing this. Two Odins, ghost rares, and then you also pull the Ulti, the Ultra, and a max C, just to, just to throw that in there. He got a, a Thor ultimate rare, and yeah, that's another ulti. Was the, the one that's in every single one, that you always get the feathers of the fin rear, literally every single time. So that's hilarious to see, and also crazy. Flex, maybe. Elemental Hero Air Neos can only be pulled in Strike of Neos, which uh, maybe we'll do an opening for a booster box tomorrow. Who knows? I guess you guys have to find out. Just pull this guy out of a blister. Does the centering make it worth grading? Let's see the centering. Uh, it's pretty off. This would be a nine maximum from the centering. And yeah, so this, for the centering question, I would say no, not worth it. Worth it or not, it's a wavy boy, but it has light scratching on the back. Maybe an eight. Thoughts. The front looks pretty nice. I like that wave. Looks really good. And then we got some feet down there. And then we've got, yeah, this one looks pretty nice. I mean, if you want, if you're okay with an eight, then maybe you go for it. But when eight is the best, you know, it's it, this is a high value card. So I don't know. I personally just don't love eight, so I would probably just keep mine ungraded. But if you're okay with an eight, then maybe go for it, because I think the value's not too bad on the eight. I don't know if it's worth 150 plus, though. Do factory scuff marks on cards affect grading in any way? The card itself is in good condition. Just want to know if the scuffs ruin it. Yes, the scuffs will impact the grading. Yeah, that's going to have a huge impact. That's going to be one or two grades by itself right there. So unfortunately, that is going to hurt the grade. So yeah, probably don't grade that one. Not a conspiracy theory so much. Okay, what is this? I did just post this in a comment on one of Ruxin's latest videos, but I thought maybe it might reach more here. These are just thoughts and observations. None have been proven beyond a shadow realm of a doubt, but I wanted the info out there and hear others' thoughts. First, has anyone seen Weevil and Ruxin in the same room? 
Second, isn't one of Ruxin's favorite sets Yugi's World, which contains the infamous Seal of Orchialkos used by Weevil? Good point. Third, the last entry of the animated world was what, 2016? Dark Side of Dimensions? Ruxin's oldest video is three plus years old. That's a decent enough window, give or take two years, for Weevil to cut his hair, get married, etc. before launching a crazy successful YouTube channel based off of cards that he pulls. Not the Exodius he threw into the ocean. Well, I'm in no way accusing anyone of anything, not nor suggesting that an animated character could materialize here in our reality. I'm keeping my eyes peeled, because when Mai gets here, I call dibs. <laughs> yeah, that's a real post on here. It definitely is not, it's not accurate. It's totally, totally fake. Worth it or not, what grade would it get? Bought it for 400 euro, euro, I'm stick with that. Okay, oh, the scra these scratches are bad. This is like down in the seven, eight range. So yeah, not worth it for this one. Even though it is a really nice card, those scratches are really gonna hurt it. These ones you can see coming down like this. So yeah, keep this one raw. It's a really nice card, but not worth sending in right now. Error card or extremely OC? Well, the answer is it's OC. It depends on if you consider being OC an error. So it's kind of like the same thing. But yeah, this thing is definitely off center. The top is very skinny compared to the bottom, which is huge. When people ask about errors, they want the value to like triple because it's an error. You know, it's supposed to be exciting or whatever, but off center is just not a cool error. Unless it's way OC, like we're talking like way off. For centering, it's either centered, which you want, or it's way OC, which is cool. But if it's like in the middle, it's just bad centering. It's just kind of like, oh, that's that stinks. The 10 would have been amazing with it being pop three, but I'm thrilled with getting the nine with it being my favorite ghost rare. This is my first time submitting to PSA and first ever ghost rare. Ruxin, you rock. Love watching your videos, man. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you very much. This is more of like a thank you post, but very nice card here. I really like the ghost rares, as you know. So this is cool to get a PSA nine. Tens are very tough on those ghost rares. Worth it or not, bought this ultimate rare beauty for 375. Card is basically mint except a little imprint image two above the warrior. I know it's a shame. I don't know how PSA grades these thoughts. Let's see. Oh, I see. I don't know what that is. I mean, this is probably going to count as like a dent, so it's probably going to take you down a grade or two, but okay, a little bit of edge wear on the top, unfortunately. Right here looks like it has some damage, unfortunately, so I'm guessing like a seven on this thing, eight. I would keep this raw because this thing looks really nice. I would probably not grade this one either. All right, our final post for the Reddit today. Is this a misprint? I've seen a couple in person, but not like this. This looks like dual terminal, I think. First of all, we need a little bit of a clearer picture, guys. So whenever you take your pick, make sure you can actually like read all the love the words and stuff so you know that I can read it. But this is, looks, looks like dual terminal, yeah, which is completely normal. It's not fake. It's They just came out of those like, I think they came out of those games or whatever, like a slot machine, basically. It's kind of weird. But yeah, it's real. So if you guys want to be involved in the Reddit, go check it out, r slash ruxin34. You guys can post there. You guys can interact between each other. I will occasionally post a video and review it and see some really cool stuff on there so if you guys want to flex if you guys want to do worth it or not all that stuff like that then go ahead and check it out shout out to tcg trusted cards toe info show noah j hawaiian Yu Gi Oh, stanley mike nance and mimic gecko thank you guys for supporting the channel and i will see you guys tomorrow for a strike of neos booster box opening peace